How to convert feet and inches to centimeter in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can convert feet and inches to centimeter in Excel. Let's get started. <laughs> In a previous tutorial, I have converted feet and inches to inches. We are going to use the same technique and then we are going to convert inches to centimeter. Okay, now check out this link to understand how you can convert feet and inches. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a glimpse of what I have done in the previous tutorial. Okay, so here we have six feet and nine inches that we want to convert in centimeter. We have feet sign and we have inch sign and this number is formatted as text because we have apostrophe and quotation mark inside it. First we need to remove all this feet and inch sign. Then we need to separate feet and inch part. Then we need to convert the feet part with the inch and we need to add this inch part with it. And then when we have converted feet and inches to inches then we are going to use another function to convert inches to centimeter. Okay, first we need to find the feet symbol here and then we can move on to the next level. So I'm going to write here equal to find, double click here and I'm going to find the apostrophe sign. So I am writing that within double quotation and I'm going to find that in cell A2. Okay, if I close parenthesis and press enter, our feet sign is at the second character. Okay, now if I need to extract the feet part we can get it from the left function double click here the text is already in cell a2 so i'm going to click here then add a comma and here number of characters so if i use simply this find function we will be extracting six feet with the inch symbol but if i deduct one from here it will give us only feet okay so here is our six feet and we have removed the feet sign and converted to Fit. Now if I use the convert function here, double click here, this will be the number and this is in fit. So I'm going to select fit from here. If I scroll down and here you can see foot. If I double click here, so this 6 is in foot and we need to convert it to inch. So I'm going to add comma and double click here and close parenthesis. Now, 6 feet equal to 72 inch. We have completed the first part. We have extracted the feet, we have converted to inch and we have removed the feet sign. Now we need to remove the inch sign, extract the inch and add it with this 72 inch. Okay. So we need here is 81 inch. Okay. 72 inch plus 9 inch will be 81 inch. That will be 6 feet 9 inch. Okay. Now I need to extract the inch part in this cell, okay? And I'm going to use the same technique. I'm going to find the apostrophe here, which is the fit sign. And then I'm going to extract everything after the apostrophe sign, okay? So for that, let's find the fit sign here. So I'm going to use find, double click here. And the find text will be within double quotation apostrophe, okay? Within text will be our cell A2. Okay, if I close parenthesis, so this is where we have our feet symbol. So if I add plus one, this is the character from where we are going to start extracting to the right. So for that, I'm going to use the meet function here. Okay, double click here and the text will be this cell from where I want to extract. If I add comma, it will move to the starting number. Starting number is 3 here in this case because we want to start extracting after the fit sign. And if I add comma, number of characters, I want to extract everything after the fit sign. For that, I'm going to use len because if I add maximum number character in this cell, that will always extract everything to the right no matter how many number you have in this cell. So I'm going to select this and close parenthesis. And if I press enter, and we have issue with the parenthesis but it's solved so we have our nine inch but i don't want the inch part so i'm going to use the substitute function and wrap this up i'm going to write here substitute this is the text and from here i want to substitute the old text which is the inch symbol so i'm going to write here double quotation twice and our new text will be nothing so we need to add double quotation and if I close parenthesis and press enter we have 9. So if I copy this formula after the equal part and add this in this cell 
with just a plus sign it should give us total inch so here we have converted feet and inch to inch now if i wrap this up with the same convert function you can see this is convert function and this is the number that i want to convert and it is in inch so i'm going to convert it from inch this is the form unit part within double quotation and then i need to convert it to centimeter so within double quotation small cm and close parenthesis now everything is converted to centimeter so this is how you can convert feet and inches to centimeter and if i double click it you can see we have successfully converted all the feet and inches in centimeter and they are in number format and you can see here in the sum we have total sum here okay so we have feet and inches in text format with feet symbol and inches symbol and now we have converted it to plain centimeter and they are in number format ready to be used in any formula this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching